Yo, here we are, level 10, we've got a shit ton of drugs on us, so you probably know where this is going, we are in Ascension Hall, we have taken the Might Stance as our last talent on level 10, and we're ready to kick ass. Heads up, we have company. So it's important here to run to the left. That makes it easier to right. engage <laughs> App. Of course, App being App, App being the only mage Will do. able to <laughs> seriously damage us. Right. <laughs> Will do. Also, she has very low defense. And she does not heal, right. unlike the sages. The sages always heal. Makes them a bit harder to kill. Don't need to take healing po potions as often as I do, but I just take them every single time I get the chance. Vital body will help you quite a bit in this fight, but Sometimes you have a few seconds where you don't have vital body on you and if you make a mistake then that can easily mean getting wounded. We are almost level 11 so if we get wounded slightly before that it wouldn't really matter. I got it. And as you can see the melee guys are taking damage through Reapers. One of them, the Outrunner, almost died. I never attacked him, ever. But we have taken poisons and we have our weapon crit special bleeding so next is the archer because once again he hits quite hard if he hits and he can't heal himself like the sage so gonna totally ignore the melee guys for now I got it. this engagement doesn't really hurt us that much with our defenders and with our vital body healing and healing potions on top of that. On it. Right now our health is hev was heavily debuffed there for a second. It's pretty much back to normal now. So yeah, with this build and of course also with other builds, this fight isn't really hard without leashing. So yeah, I wish my first character would have looked like that, but it's how it is. It was a new game. I got it. Take that. So now it's the turn of the sage. Will do. Will do. Not much to say here. We're at almost 150. Something every day. And there's a level up. So we're just gonna level not because we need it for the fight right now, just to so show what we get for strengths again. And we're gonna go with Blade Dancing for each engaged enemy plus 5 parry. Um, If you're surrounded in this game, you can be surrounded by quite a few enemies. 
plus five for each of them. That's pretty huge, actually. Take that. Will do. And yeah, the final stats on level 11 for our uh, weapon skills is something like 91 thrown weapons and 86 um, one-handed. As I said, I tested this build out before, but slightly less defensive, and I had a bit over 100 thrown weapons and only 80 one-handed. I think this is a better compromise with the high parry and having a good one-handed weapon I got it. value as well, because that's your main damage, even though throwing weapons is what you attack with, Take that. because of repost. Ah. Especially once you get volcanic weapon, the repost damage is just a lot higher right. than the thrown weapons damage. This is you useless. I should try something else. <laughs> On it. And there goes the last NPC. This is useless. I should try something else. Right. And that was pretty much it. Right. <laughs> On it. I got it. So once again the repost. I got it. <laughs> and that's the end of it. <laughs>